Okay, this is day 204, part two of the Juan Brotherhood. Um, I'm changing this a little bit to Anthony's trusted staff, Blackberries. Um, and as we go through the series, you'll see over and over again that Hillary refers, Hillary refers to Anthony's trusted staff. And we've pretty much localized through this investigation that it's, the, it's going to be the Blackberries that are used with this syncing that allows uh, laptops to be used to <clears throat> get everyone's email. Now, Imran Awan here is one of three brothers. They were all fired from Congress. They were accused of burglaries in Congress. They were accused of threatening kidnapping. They were uh, accused of cell phone hacking. They were accused of having um, multiple businesses uh, while working for Congress. So there's a lot of things going on with the Awans. Um, and in addition to social media sites that have jihad and, and kind of extreme clerics in Pakistan and a lot of, of, of paraphernalia and so forth of Pakistani 111th, the, the army, uh, their 111th division, which has been known as their ISI division that does all the bombings and so forth. So there's a lot of things going on with Imran Awan, and, as well as his brother Jamal and his and his brother Abid, and then there's a fourth Awan named Omar. So there should be four Awans in Congress, and then there should be an, an his wife also worked for Congress named Hina Alvi. So there should really, really be five, um, and I'll, there's another wife of Abid. So there should be six actually six listings. So we're going to just do is when we do follow ups, if we just look at open source public information and just see if there's verification of these details. Okay, so that's uh, what I do. Now, again, if you missed the first episode here, this is Judicial Watch, a federal judge saying there's problems with the BlackBerry account. Sorry about the phone, everybody. The second thing is Hillary is talking about Anthony's trusted staff. So that's not me talking about that. That's Hillary directly talking to Huma about that. And here it's Huma directly talking about sending these secure phones. So these are special phones, special phones that are being managed by Anthony's trusted staff, not the NSA. Anthony Weiner's trusted staff is sending out these secure phones. Okay, I just wanted to establish that fact once more. Just to remind everyone, here was the NSA's recommended phone. It says it right here. There's a lot of articles about this. It w went through all this what they call uh, security hardening to make sure that it was safe. Uh, it couldn't be tapped. Um, Hillary was warned many times by the NSA that her phone, her special phone being configured by her trusted staff was, was uh, liable to be hacked, as well as uh, James Wolseley uh, of Genie Energy fame, ex-CIA director, said basically, here's all the places your phone can be hacked. I think it was China, Israel, uh, uh France and, and a couple of other countries. So here is the agency that puts out these phones. It's called DISA, Department of Information uh, Systems um, Administration, for all the DOD. So they came out with another phone after this that recommended for John Kerry, and he didn't use it. It doesn't appear he didn't use that secure phone in the dealings with the Iran uh, hostage negotiation swap, the $1.7 billion swap. So here's a lot of uh, when, when Hillary first takes office, it's Don Reed and so forth, not only doing Hillary's phone, but doing other people's as well, the president of the United States being one of them. So I won't belabor that. I covered that in the first one today. But just here's a little bit of a drill down. This is called Inside Gov. Dot com. This has all the records of government employees, and these folks supposedly served on the congressional staff. And, and indeed, these records come up. A B to A Awan comes up, Imran Awan comes up, Jamal uh, M Awan, and I do screenshots here. So all these came up on this kind of electronic format, and here are some of the people they work for. And as you can see, even uh, Jamal Awan here makes $157,000 a year as a 22-year-old working in Congress in his first year. So that typically uh, uh, would be a red flag. And uh, Imran also owns this nanoset technology. And remember, the Awans are accused of stealing government equipment and then selling it back to the government. So nanoset technologies is going to be interesting. Um, their wives also work for Congress. Again, listings from inside.gov. Here's Hina Alvi and Natalia Sova. 
Okay. Now there's a whole bunch of rental cars they own. There's a whole uh, dealerships, car dealerships that go bankrupt where they end up owning a million dollars. Uh, Hina owns a couple of businesses. So I won't go into all those, but there's a lot of different businesses um, that they own, which is unusual. Now here's Somebody did send me a staff listing for 2008 for the Congress, and they said, oh, here's Imran Awan and here's Omar Awan, and here are the people they work for, and these are the three Congress people that they work for. And he was a systems admin and an admin and an admin. So I just took Sol Solis here, S-O-L-I-S. -S. If you don't know, remember who she was. This is Hilda Solis. You can tweet her now if you'd like. She was the 25th... Um, or the 26th uh, Secretary of Labor under Obama from 2009 to 2013, you can just tweet her and say, do you remember uh, Imran Awan? I mean, she worked directly for her, so um, you would think that uh, he would uh, remember her. So, anyway, the... Um, sorry, I'm getting a phone call right now, but uh, what I said to my Facebook account is basically just... Um, what I said to my Facebook account here was, is it me? Am I missing something? Because I list out here the actual list of directories of the last 16 years, and I couldn't find any Awans. I could not find any Awans. I couldn't find Alvi either, and I couldn't find Sova, S-O-V-A. So I put that link out there. Uh, I put it to the R. Uh, we have a Facebook group called HRC for Hillary Rodham Clinton Ratline. And that is used for discussion about this series. So if you want to go to HRC Ratline and become a member of the group, that'd be great. You can click on the link or you can go to my slides that I publish at the end of this and click on that link and look for yourself to see if there's any staff listings. Now, they're in some electronic listings like uh, InsideGov.com and so forth. But these typeset books that actually the Congress puts out, like a phone book, like a... Uh, one's called a yellow book. The Washington Monitor puts out this thing called a yellow book, and then the government printing office puts out a printed directory, typeset printed directory. Those uh, don't have any awans in them. So again, now Rolling Stone has hired a couple of reporters. They kind of came at me as an anti-Muslim, and then they found out I did the defense of a Muslim in the Portland Trist Christmas tree bomber case against Andrew McCabe, the current FBI director who was kind of setting up this kid. So they dropped this story. Now David Brock of Media Matters uh, is coming after me today. Um, I asked them, uh, hey, uh, here, here's the link. You can go and look at the actual printed directories or go to Washington Monitor and look for the Awans and Alvis. Rolling Stone can do the same thing and just tell me if they're there or not. I don't see them. So I'm going to leave it there. Again, I've got a New York uh, uh, NYPD police chief saying that there's a lot of things going wrong with uh, these emails, these 650,000 emails that Huma uh, uh, sent over to Anthony Weiner's laptop through the sinking. So uh, every day I do a little bit more of just going down and very simple Google queries and, and just show me the evidence. So that's all for right now.